So the next thing that we have is bringing up this fence post um, that goes across horizontally to hold all the fence posts together. So we're going to go select it using our direct selection tool of our black arrow, and we're going to drag it up and go ahead and place it right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. So I want you to think real quick and pause the video here and see if you can figure out how to duplicate this. So there's a couple ways we can duplicate it. Some people immediately go to what they already know, which is great, which is copying and pasting. So I could right click it and I usually would get a copy option, but what's found in the Illustrator and Adobe programs is right clicking doesn't really usually give you a copy or paste. Um, I think the reason that this is, is because these are so keyboard heavy. And what I mean by that is that they have a lot of keyboard shortcuts to save you time and energy. And I think Adobe is assuming that you're going to be utilizing the keyboard shortcuts for copying and pasting or their other keyboard shortcuts for duplicating, which is why they don't have it in their right click menu. You could also go up to edit right here and you could choose to copy it and then you could choose to paste it. You can see that not only is there paste, but there's a lot of options for paste because we're working with putting things in front of or behind other objects. But you could also just use the keyboard shortcuts of Control C and Control V. So I could take this and I could hold down the Control C, Control key on my keyboard, press the C. Nothing's going to happen physically on my screen, but it's been put into my computer's clipboard. And if I hold down the Control key and press V, I'll see it duplicate. But you can see it's just going to place it somewhere on the artboard. It's not got any rhyme or reason to it. So that's how copying and pasting kind of works. And I can keep pasting now that I have it copied because it'll always paste the last thing that was in my clipboard. So I can keep hitting control V over and over again. And it's going to go ahead and paste it. And now you can see I've got a ton of these sitting on top of each other, right? But I'm going to go back because what I want to show you is actually how to duplicate without using control C and control V or copying and pasting, because there's actually a quicker way. If you hover over this object with it selected, so we select the object and you hold alt on your keyboard, alt is to the right of control or on the other side of the space bar. And you can see that your cursor will turn into a double arrow, a black and white arrow on top of each other. And then when you have Alt held, you can click and drag with your mouse with Alt held, keeping Alt, um, Alt held down. Let go of your click. And when you let go of your click, you will have duplicated the object and created two of them. And this is a really quick way, if you see it, duplicating with each click. And that's really fast. So then what we're going to do is take these two at the same time. So how would I select the other horizontal post? Hold shift on my keyboard. And I'm just going to drag those down so that they're kind of in the mid center of these fence posts. OK, the next task, I want them behind. We're supposed to be on the street view of this fence post. So we wouldn't be seeing the fence po or the horizontal posts holding it together. We would be. I would be behind them and we would be seeing all the fronts of the fence posts. Um, so how would I get this to go behind everything or go behind all of those different posts? So I want you to pause the video here and see if you can get that to happen. Okay, so not only can we align things and have all these objects, but we can arrange them. So this was when I was talking about like if you were to create something out of construction paper, like a snowman, how you would have the white in the background, you may have three, you know, different sized white balls, then you would have, you know, black dots for the coal on top and you would paste that on top of it. Maybe you'd create a top hat for the top of the snowman that would get pasted on top of the white. And then you would also have like a red ribbon or scarf like thing on the top hat. And that might go on top of the black, which is on top of the white. So we're structuring things on top of one another and layering them. And when we see the final result, because we're working with graphics, whatever the user is going to see is what's on top most. So in this case, we want to take these and we want to push them behind the other objects so that they're hidden whenever they're behind the other objects, but show through in the spaces that are available. So we have alignment, but we also have arrangement of objects. So you can align and arrange objects. What you can see is that if I go up to object here in the drop down menus, I have the ability to transform objects, arrange objects and align objects. And those are my top three items. I can choose arrange and you'll see that the options in there are to bring it to the front, 
bring something forward, send something backward, or send something to the back. So right now, if I choose send backward, for instance, you'll see that nothing happens on my screen. And that's because I'm actually sending to the back of the two objects that I have selected. But if I keep wanting to go, I can right click and arrange send to back or send backward, or I can hold control and press the left bracket next to the P and over near the backspace key, which I suggest you start trying. So holding down control and pressing it, I just want you to watch this send backward as you continue pressing it. You'll see that as you continue pressing it, it's starting to go one by one behind these fence posts. So when you're sending something backward, Illustrator is finding the last object um, that's layered and it's going to send it behind that object. So it could be sending it behind these objects, it could be sending it behind this tree, all of those things. But if you really want to send it to the back of everything, you can just use the send to back option instead of send backward. And this works for bringing things forward as well. So I can go to and I can right click it and choose arrange send to back or I can do shift control and left bracket. And you'll see that when I click off of this and deselect it, all of them are behind rather than going one by one by one using the send backward option. Okay, so I'm gonna take this top one, I'm gonna move it up smidge so that way it looks more like a fence post. And we've got one last thing that we've gotta do with this fence post before we're done with it. And that's fix this fence post. It's a little too tall, it has some issues, so we're gonna fix it in the next video.